Cervical cancer is the third most common cancer in women worldwide. A canal through the cervix connects the uterus to the vagina, or birth canal. Most cervical cancers start in the surface cells of the cervix. Early cervical cancer typically does not cause symptoms, but it can be detected early during annual checkups. As the cancer grows, you may experience symptoms, such as vaginal bleeding when you're not having your period, or after menopause, unusual vaginal discharge, pelvic pain, or bleeding or pain during sexual intercourse. Other health problems may cause these symptoms. You should see your doctor if you have any symptoms you're concerned about. The staging of cervical cancer refers to the extent of the disease. Doctors stage the disease according to the size of the tumor and whether it has spread to nearby tissues or other organs of the body. Stage zero is not considered invasive because the cancer cells are found only in the top layer of cells of the cervix. Stage 1A is considered invasive cancer because the microscopic tumor grows through the top layer of cells into the underlying cervical tissue and is 3 to 5 millimeters deep by 7 millimeters wide. Stage 1b cervical cancer has two scenarios. One, where the tumor still can only be seen with a microscope, but is larger than 5 millimeters deep and 7 millimeters wide. In the second scenario for stage 1b, the cancer can be seen without a microscope and is larger than 4 centimeters in diameter. In stage 2A, the tumor spreads beyond the cervix to the upper two-thirds of the vagina, but not to the tissues around the uterus. In stage 2B, the cancer spreads to the tissues around the uterus. In stage 3A, the tumor spreads to the lower third of the vagina. In stage 3B, the cancer spreads to the pelvic wall, the lining of the body wall cavity between the hips or it may spread to the uterus, tubes that carry urine away from the kidneys to the bladder. If the flow of urine is blocked, the kidneys can become enlarged or stop working. In stage 4A, the tumor invades nearby pelvic organs, such as the bladder or rectum, and may spread to the pelvic lymph nodes. In stage 4B, the cancer spreads past the pelvic lymph nodes to other places in the body, such as the liver, intestines, or lungs. Treatment options for cancer include surgery, radiation therapy, and chemotherapy. You may receive one or a combination of these treatments, depending on the size of tumor, whether it has spread, and whether or not you would like to be able to have children. You have several surgical options, depending on the type, and stage of the cancer. During early stage 1A, your surgeon may perform conization to remove a cone-shaped piece of the cervix. One example of conization, called LEAP, or Loop Electrosurgical Excision Procedure, uses a thin wire heated by electricity to remove the tissue. During later stage 1A and 1B, your surgeon may perform a radical trachelectomy to preserve your uterus if you want to be able to have children later. The surgeon removes the cervix and upper part of the vagina and places a stitch at the lower end of the uterus to act as an artificial internal opening of the cervix. During early stage 1A, your surgeon may perform a total hysterectomy, removing the uterus and cervix. During later stage 1A and 1B, your surgeon may perform a radical hysterectomy, removing the cervix, the tissue around the cervix, the uterus, and part of the vagina. During either a total or radical hysterectomy, your surgeon may remove other tissues, such as the fallopian tubes, ovaries, or lymph nodes as necessary. If the cancer recurs, your surgeon may perform pelvic exenteration, removing all the organs and tissues as in a radical hysterectomy, plus the pelvic lymph nodes, bladder, vagina, 
rectum, and colon, depending on where cancer has spread. Radiation therapy, or radiotherapy, uses high-energy rays to kill cancer cells in the treated area only. External beam radiation therapy is directed at the cancer's location from a machine outside your body. Brachytherapy, or internal radiation therapy, is directed at the cancer's location from a device placed inside your body. Chemotherapy, a systemic treatment, uses drugs to stop the growth of the cancer cells by either killing them or inhibiting their cell division. Once the drugs enter the bloodstream, they can travel and reach cancer cells throughout the body. Cervical cancer is one of the most preventable types of cancer with regular testing and is highly curable when found early. You can take action to avoid exposure to HPV or human papillomavirus, the most common cause of cervical cancer, by limiting the number of people you have sex with, avoiding sex partners who engage in high-risk activities, delaying sex until you're older, and using condoms to help prevent the spread of HPV and other sexually transmitted diseases. Avoid smoking, which increases the risk of cervical cancer in women infected with HPV. Get vaccinated with Gardasil, which prevents infection with the two types of HPV responsible for most cases of cervical cancer. Get annual pap tests, which look for precancerous changes on the cervix that might develop into cervical cancer if not treated in time. Get the HPV test, which tests for HPV in the cervix. Be sure and talk to your doctor about ways to reduce your risk of cervical cancer.